What steps will the Prime Minister take to ensure women with lived experience can lead on this work, and by when? Prime Minister. I, I thank her very much for her question, and she raises a most important issue, Mr Speaker, one of the most important that this country faces. And I want all people in this country, particularly women, uh, to feel confident in our police force, and I believe that they can and uh, that they should. And what we're doing now to make sure that women in particular feel safe at night is we're investing in uh, safer streets, in better street lighting, in more CCT CCTV. But what we also have to do, Mr Speaker, as I think the whole House understands, is ensure we deal with the systemic problems in the criminal justice system uh, to ensure that, bit, that men, and I'm afraid it is almost always men, get prosecuted for rape and for crimes of serious sexual and domestic violence uh, in the way that they should, and that we secure the convictions that we should, Mr Speaker, and that when we secure the, those convictions, those individuals get the tough sentencing that they deserve, Mr Speaker, and that's what this side of the House believes in. Yeah. Yeah.